Shia citizens in Bahrain are boycotting the ballot boxes and have called instead for more anti-government demonstrations. They say Saturday's parliamentary elections are fake democracy in action. Most of the voting is going on in Shia areas of the nation. 18 opposition MPs left their seats in protest at the violent crackdown on protesters earlier this year. Thousands of police have been deployed to prevent even more protests today. On Friday, dozens of people were injured during attempts to rally in the capital. Bahrain's legislative body, the National Assembly, is divided into two houses. The 40-member Shura Council is directly appointed by the king. The lower house, known as the Chamber of Deputies, also has 40 members, but they are elected. Al-Wefaq won 18 seats in the general election last year, which was boycotted by several other opposition parties. Independent candidates won 17, while the remaining five seats were picked up by smaller Sunni parties. Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa is the Bahraini Minister of Justice and Islamic Affairs. He denies that opposition voices are being blocked, maintaining that freedom of expression is guaranteed to all Bahrainis. If there are people uh, frightening to speak out, this is something that you should have come to us while being in our country and asked me about it. But to just to, to reach this conclusion without hearing the official uh, uh, statement about it, this is something that I really find strange. I'll tell you something. Here in Bahrain, the freedom of expression is guaranteed. And not only, the, I'm not talking about the constitution or, or the laws, I'm talking about the practice. We're not talking about uh, uh, freedom of expression as recognized in international law. We're talking about terrorizing people or trying to scare people, which is constituting criminal acts. If anyone within this framework is, is working, there is no problem about it. And I'll tell you something, what we are trying to do today is to go through these elections and try to make the Bahrainis way forward. And I think that these elections will prove that Bahrainis are aware of uh, uh, their unity and they are willing to go forward.